Godzilla, this is an iconic monster film. How are you guys feeling? Amazing, you know, it's, this is a childhood dream uh, come to life. I'm so happy uh, to be a part of this project. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of the best Godzilla movies, hands down. The, the monsters that we show in this one, as a fan, I thought we'd have to see these two movies from now. Really? But to have, to have the, the lineup that we do, it's pretty nasty. So the lineup, what else makes this Godzilla different? O'Shea Jackson Jr. <laughs> O'Shea Jackson Jr. and a little dash of middle ditch. <laughs> uh, just a sprinkling. Um, well, I mean, to be honest, that really is, you just get m more monsters. We are, you know, uh, while in the past you'd have uh, a movie specializing in a new monster, now you kind of get them all smashed into one. And it, it really is the world being taken over by these insane beasts. The real life monster mash. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right? Man, um, Super Smash Brothers of Godzilla movies. <laughs> Did your dad come to set at all? Does he like superhero films? Oh, no. I think he was kind of uh, jealous of me being in Godzilla. <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it's pretty cool, though. He's definitely proud. This is something that the family has been waiting for for a long time. Yeah. You know, since he was going to Japan uh, as a solo artist, bringing me back Godzilla figures and stuff like that. Wow. So, yeah, this is big business. This is our first time at Comic-Con. Yeah, we rocking it. This is not your first time, though. You're a vet, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, it's all old hat to me. Uh, it's pretty boring to me, actually. Uh, no, it's, it's very exciting. Very, uh, first time in, in Hall H. That is a next-level experience. What's been the craziest fan experience so far? Like, when you see people dressed up as Godzilla, or what, like, really gets you guys excited? Oh, anything Godzilla. Uh, I did see a couple of people dressed up, and it, it, it's, it takes a lot for you to be dressed up as something I don't know. So, you know, it's, yeah, it, it, it's a lot going on out here. I'm, I'm, I'm super, super into the whole shtick. But uh, I, I was telling him earlier, I want to see some Rick and Morty costumes. Oh, Something, yeah, yeah. dude. I'm a Rick and Morty fan. One of the first costumes I saw was Rufio from Hook. And I was like, <laughs> I was like Rufio. He turns around and I was like, er, 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 er. he was just like, bangerang. Hey, yeah. Bangerang, baby. I get it. Oh. Awesome. Rufio. Oh. Um, so I'm such a fan of Millie. I think she's so wise beyond her years. What was it like working with her? Well, she lies about her age. She's 38. Um, you know, <laughs> so it's not really yeah. that yeah, makes way more sense. Yeah. She's super dramatic in everything you see her in, but she's funny. She's yeah. funny and she's a bit of a prankster. I'll never let you know let her see me say such good things about her. But yeah, she's a she's a beast and she's gonna be she's a young legend. Did she pull a prank on you? Oh no, not O'Shea Jackson Jr. No. <laughs> How about Thomas? She uh, really bullied me on set. I don't want to talk about it. No, uh, she was, uh, she's great. Yeah, she's a real talent. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy to just starting out the gate, Stranger Things and Godzilla yeah. stuff. <sighs> I'm not, it's not like I'm jealous or anything. Uh, Did she give you guys spoilers? Because season, the season three trailer came out. And I was thinking, like, maybe she let you guys in on some things. She won't give me spoilers about Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read the script. Yeah. And they seem to know a lot more than me. I just saw the trailer for the first time with everybody else at Comic-Con. So, you know, treat me like one of the soldiers. What superheroes did you guys watch and really love growing up? Ooh. My superheroes were kind of action movie actors. I mean, I grew up uh, as someone who had maybe some difficulty defending himself. <laughs> My heroes were like Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and just seeing all their movies. So essentially, the tough guys of the 80s and 90s were my superheroes. My superhero's better. Okay. Goku. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about the best answer possible? You know, as long as you're going Super Saiyan? Yeah, d Goku. <laughs> Goku. People who know, they know. Goku. Okay. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.